for anyone who has not seen my last videos, um, I like to show before I start the video that everything I use is brand new. That way things are as accurate as possible and no one complains of me. Anyways, for anyone who's new to the game, I just wanted to show you that hatchets do one tap to the head if the player doesn't have a helmet on, even if you left click. I uh, did a mixture of left click and right click and I tested it and I couldn't find any uh, health difference. But yeah, starting off with the cold pack, which is a motorcycle helmet. Um, yeah, okay, so there's just going to be a lot of hitting heads in this video. When I was when I came up with the idea, I thought it was just going to be a boring video, but testing nonetheless. And after the cold pack, I, fi I, I knew this was going to be a whole video, but uh, yeah. I don't know how many hits we're at right now. There is a hit counter at the end. Don't don't worry. I hope I counted right. <laughs> 24 hits to the coal pack, which is the lowest level helmet in the game. So if you want to imagine what the other ones are like, um, go right ahead. I also tested body armor in this, just to let you know. On to the Kiver. Level 3 helmet, this one. I tested all the guns on this one, if you guys want to check that out. For those of you who haven't seen it, pro probably more interesting than a hatchet swing. And yeah, we're just going to hit his head until he dies. Um, that's all this video is. It, it might be a really boring video. I, I don't know. I think so. I almost just wanted to send this in as a bug report, so to say. Because... Um, I don't know if it's a bug report. I think the game just needs some kind of knockout feature. Um, I, I'd say about three hatchets should knock any player out, as it's kind of hard to hit someone in the head three times with a hatchet. You'd really have to miss a lot of shots or get your weapon pushed back into your face. I don't really like that. <laughs> 35 hits. All right. That's uh, a lot of hits. And, uh, good thing I got the job done. <laughs> this is my office. This is where we hide all the documents of, uh, all the armor test videos. Oh, uh, do I have to commentate over this? Okay, we're hitting a dude in the head. Yep. The hardest part of this video was clicking my mouse this many times. And I would have done it, like, rapidly but I was kind of afraid the server would lag. I did start to do it quicker, if that makes you feel any better. Oh, man. So, how's your guys' days going? I've been having a great time. I've been testing the grenade test video. Testing the grenade... T We've been doing the grenade test video. Quite interesting, actually. Grenades work pretty well. Hey, bro, um, let's team up. Okay, on, on to the 3M body armor. Which, this one, I think is brand new. Um, I, the only way to get this is off scavs or from fence. And this one had 40 out of 40 durability. Which I think is full health, actually. So I got lucky with that one. But yeah, the body armor. I'm showing you body armor just because the only helmet left is fast helmet. And yeah. Body armor was quite interesting, though. Um, as you can see with the health, the, the player doesn't really take damage until the armor is zeroed out. Um, I think one way to fix this would be to have the hatchet do more damage through armor instead of it just doing one damage. Maybe have it do like a quarter of that health each time. I want to point out that it's also hard to hit someone in the chest with like to actually hit their armor. This took a couple of tries. I kept hitting his arms and stuff like when when you're actually against a live player you're going to be hitting arms a lot more. 37 hits. I mean, this is almost... I, I really just wanted to send this in just to kind of show everyone what's up. Because I haven't really heard anyone mention this. But... Because when you do hit people, you hit their arms. like, Because your arms stick out in front of you. But testing it on the raw armor here. This is the pack armor. And this one... I'll just spoiler alert you. This one was stronger than Ford armor. Um, the armor seems to, or the hatchet damage through armor seems to be based on the overall durability, not so much the level class of the actual armor. 
So, I, I think that's a bug in itself, right? Yeah, bug reporting. Oh man. And I'm doing right clicks here. I tested the hatchet, but right click and left click, I couldn't notice any uh, difference in actual damage. So for anyone wondering why I'm doing right clicks now, it's actually so that I hit him, because left clicks are a little less accurate. 54 hits. Um, yeah. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I mean, he is wearing armor, and it's like you're swinging a hatchet at armor, but... You guys are gonna just tell me to hit him in the legs next time. Don't make me bust open the clip drawer, guys. I'm kidding. <laughs> but... This is... This is a forward armor, for anyone wondering. And... Hmm... I'm actually gonna go get a drink, guys. I'll be back. <sighs> oh. Okay, we're still hitting him. I'm on customs this time, by the way. I wanted to change up the scenery from woods to customs. It's, uh... Oh, he's dead. 46 hits. Sorry for uploading this video, guys. I'm really sorry, but... I was gonna upload... I was hoping I would just show you guys, like, Oh yeah, it takes, you know, 10 hits. I knew it would probably be more than everyone wanted, but... I mean... It's a little much. I'm... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I got the beekeeper helmet on here. I have something to talk about, actually. Um, I wanted to test... The face shield versus the predator mask. The mandible. And, um... Yeah. The, uh... The beekeeper mask, this face shield, actually took less hatchet swings than the predator mask. So... I mean, that's that has nothing to do with the actual ballistic damage, which I'm sure everyone cares about. Because a lot of people say that when you put this uh, visor on, it turns the helmet into a level 5 helmet instead of a level 4. Even though the UI doesn't... Uh, the UI doesn't say. It still says a level 4 with it. Probably gonna have to test that out with rifles one day, but... Pretty sure there's like an armor patch coming, or an ammo patch coming. So I'm kind of waiting on that before I do like a packet test video or anything, for anyone wondering. On to the last helmet, for anyone wondering. If you want to skip to the end of this, you won't hurt my feelings. I'm not sure how many hits this takes. <laughs> it's more than the face shield, though. He's totally going to fall into the water right here, too. Watch, guys. Keep watching to watch him fall in the water. I'm sorry, this is, might be a boring video. Like I've said ten times. But this is a bug report. Think of this video as a bug report. I don't he he didn't fall in the water. I lied to you guys. All of you need to dislike the video immediately because he did not fall into the water. So yeah, that wraps it up for this hatchet versus armor test video. Um, I wish that this testing would have lasted longer, but I'm pretty sure all these results will be changed. Um, I think a knockout feature would be really cool. Um, also making the hatchets do more than one damage through, uh, armor would be cool. Up to you guys what you think of this. I wish that it would take a lot less hits for the hatchet. But I think mainly there needs to be some kind of knockout feature. That would be really cool. Like you hit someone two times in the head with a hatchet and they're knocked out or something. And uh, you could then like beat them in the legs to death. Or if they add some kind of zip tie mechanic. I think zip ties would be really, really cool. Uh, I don't know what the purpose would be. You could, like interrogate them or whatever. But a knockout feature, I think this game really needs. Um, like 
with all my other armor tests, I really realized that the damage system, it's it's very good, honestly, at the moment. Like, it's pretty complicated. I haven't seen many other games with, like, leg hitboxes, arm hitboxes, chest. The chest and the stomach in this game are separate, which I think is really cool. I, uh, I really just hope the devs um, improve upon it, because uh, there's clearly some problems with it. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you did not like it, and subscribe if you want to see more content that isn't boring like this. Sorry, this is just a bug report.